YouTube channel with this reflex image. If, you're first, if this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. Ready to subscribe and welcome back. So in today's video, I actually created a video like this before, but it seems it has low engagement. So what I'll be doing is telling you where I get all my backgrounds, both do the both the one I sell and the one I give out for free. So there are three different ways I get my background. So for you to be able to know how to do all that, watch this video to the end. So the first way is going to Pinterest. And as you can see, I did not search anything here right now. This is my what this is my home page. So since they know I do such stuff relating to background, so everything they will be bringing to me is going to be related to background. So probably I have something I have in mind to search. I just need to come to the search icon and do what? Let's say I'm looking for maternity background. So I'll just search maternity background and click on search. All I just need to do is for it to wait for it to load up. Some of the picture will come with what with subject in it, and some is going to come with plain, just plain backgrounds. You can see this one right now. This is a plain background. All I just need to do is just to click on download and I'll get what I want. As you can see, there are different options I choose from. And anyone I click, I will still get different options relating to that particular one that I can actually click from, which is very, very nice. So, you can get tons of background here. Though they are not high quality, but nobody is going to tell that the pictures are not, the backgrounds are not high quality. All you just need to do is to download them and use them for your pictures. Then you are good to go. Very, very simple and straightforward. If you have been using Pinterest or you've not been using Pinterest before, I think this is the best time for you to do it. Start using Pinterest. Just search any idea you want. So, okay, let me just see we are not using maternity. Let's go for baby background. Let's go for baby background. Let's search for baby, baby background, and click on search. Can you see what it gives to us right now? So it's going to give us kids decorations. So it's because I did not specify what I want initially. That's why I know get everything perfectly. So if I have to click on this new button over here. It's going to give me what options relating to that. As you can see, it's going to give me different options I can use, I can select from. So here is one of the best options to get any background you want. Any background of your choice that you want so that being said right now let's jump to the next one the next one is using instagram ideas so here's my instagram page right now here's my instagram home so if i have any idea now what i just need to do is to do it i will go to my explore or go to my search just go to explore so once i go to explore i'm going to scroll down and look for any idea i have in mind and i want to work with so i'll search i'll keep searching till i see one so there's this particular one i saw before which is this one over here I'll click on OK. I'll click on it and wait for it to open. What I just need to do is to do what? Click on the three dot over here and I'm going to copy the link. Click on copy the link. So I'll create a new tab on my browser. The next thing I just need to do is to go to the website called Download Instagram or Insta Downloader. Insta Downloader. And I'll click on search. Wait for it to load up. So you can select from any of these options, but I love using the first one. I'm going to click on it. And once you load up, I'm going to do what? I'll paste the Instagram link there, Ctrl V. Then I'm going to click on download. I'll wait for it to load up, or it's going to load what I want for me. So, very, very simple. It's actually load the four variants of the pictures that are actually there. So I can select from any of those four. I think I'll be selecting the first one. I'm going to click on download. I'll wait for it to load up. So these are when you don't have any ideas in mind to so actually generate your background, which you just want to use from someone else's idea and generate something similar. So this being downloaded right now, all we just need to do right now is just to head over to our Photoshop because you'll be needing Photoshop for this. There will be the paid version or the free version. Just make sure you have a Photoshop on your PC. So the next thing we'll be doing right now is for we to do what? Load our picture into Photoshop. So I'm going to go to my file manager. And I'm going to pick out the picture. Then I'm going to load it into my Photoshop. Here's the picture over here. I'll just have to drag it down to my Photoshop. As you can see, the next thing I'll do, I'm going to zoom out and I'll pick my polygonal axis too. So though I'm using 25 version of Photoshop, so that's why I was, I'll be able to do this very, very simple. All I just need to do is to scroll over my image. Don't forget, I'm actually giving some space. I'm going to scroll over my image like this. And I'm going to meet up at the end. So let me add this. Let me add the reflections to it. The next thing I just need to do is just to click on Generative Fill. And I'm going to click on Generate. I'm not going to give it any prompt. I'll just click on Generate and I'll wait for it to give me the best of version of itself. So it's going to give me three variants over here. You can give me three variant over here and I'll wait for it to load up. And boom, this is what it gives to right now. If I don't even want to generate a new variant of this, but I don't want this exact copy of what the person generated to use to generate my own picture. 
So this is another variant. It's going to give us three options for you to fill that area up with. So I'm going to do what? I'm going to save it. So but before I save it, I want to do something else. Control J on the background layer. So let me make these two together. Control E. So what I want to do right now is for people that don't have AI Photoshop. So let's see if we are going to use uh yeah, what should I call it? Let's see if we are going to use content aware theme to make it work out so that you'll be able to do that on your own too. So I'm going to select over it the way I did the selection earlier on. I'm going to select over it like that. I'm going to select over it like this. So what I just need to do right now is just to right click on it. Then I'm going to go to fill. On that fill, I'll make sure I'm clicking on my content aware and I'll click on OK. And let's see if it's going to generate the same thing for us. Though this is not going to be perfect, but it's going to give us an 8 start. As you can see, it gave us something very, very nice. So Ctrl D to select. So if you don't have Photoshop 2025 or if you're not using the premium version of Photoshop, I don't think you have any issue also. You should be able to generate something nice out of it also. So, but as you can see with the AI version, it gives us the exact replica of what we want. So that being said right now, I'm going to save this picture right now and I'm going to go over to your website where I'll be generating the background for free. So this is for you. I can generate the background for free in, the, in Photoshop here. Generate the exact same copy of what I want in Photoshop here. But for in case of people who does not have paid Photoshop, I want to do it for free. This video is for you. So I'm going to merge it together like this and I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the picture right now. Then I'll head over to my browser again. Go over to my browser. Then I'll click on the new page. Probably I should be using a new tab over here. So Leonardo, search for Leonardo. L-E-O-N-E-R-D-O A-I. Click on the search icon and do what? Create a new page for it. Create open a open the website and wait for it to load up. So this is actually a free website which is going to help you out a lot when it comes to background generation. So though it's a paid version, but they'll be giving you substantial free version you can use every blessed day. They'll be giving you 150 token every blessed day for you to generate background from. And I think that's actually enough for you instead of you buying the premium version. So I'm going to launch the app. The beauty about this is that they have they have what they have a mobile version for it. So you can just go and download it both on your iPhone and also your Android devices. And it's going to work perfectly there also. So all you just need to do, let's just sign in. I'm going to sign in with Google. It's actually a seamless process while creating an account with them. You don't actually have to stress yourself out a lot. So I'm going to work with this account I have over here right now. I'm going to click on continue. And it's going to open up the interface for me right now. So let's wait for it to load up. And boom, here's what the Leonardo interface looks like. Trust me, I won't be able to talk more about this software via this particular website because there's a lot of things it actually entails. You just have for you just have to do research on it. You can just watch the full video when it comes to this software over here. So what I just need to do right now, I have to change my dimension to two by three because that's what I love, and I want it to be generating four pictures for me at once. So the next thing I will do right now is to do what. I'm going to be selecting the option I want for my image generation. So you, there are so many models there for you to choose from. But the one I usually to choose is I either I choose portrait perfect or I choose stock photography. So you can choose one out of the two. So I'm going to be choosing portrait perfect, and I'll wait for it to load up. Then I'm going to cancel this over here. The next thing I will do right now is I'm going to up upload the reference image. Click on the image over here, as you can see. Click on the image over here, and I'm going to do what? From character to image, this is what we want, but it's not giving us the exact thing we want. So click on view more over here. Click on view more. So we'll be looking for the style we want. Close this right now. We don't need this. This is what we want. Image to source. We want it to be exact replica of what we want to upload. So let's click on this right now. I'm going to click on confirm. Click on confirm. Then I'm going to upload the file I want. I'm going to upload the file. I'll go to my download. Here's the file we want over here. Here is it over here, and I'm going to click on open. So, wait for it to load up. This is going to be a very, very seamless process right now. All I just need to do right now is to input a prompt, just a simple prompt. I don't think I need a, a high prompt to actually achieve this one. All I just need to do is for me to search what? Generate similar background with the reference attached below. 
Then you click on generate and wait for it to load up. So it's going to generate four different variants for you to actually do what you choose from. And I know it's going to be very, very nice. I'm yet to see the results, but I expect it to be very, very nice. So that being said right now, this is the first step. If you want to learn the other process, you can actually do what? Can you see what it did for us? It generated something very, very nice. It even adds a little bit of water reflections to it. And if you don't like this generation, look at the previous one. Look at another one it generated. I also like this one also. Look at another one it did generate. So it's going to generate four different variants for us right now, which it actually did. So this one, it, it, it included someone which I don't want. So I'm going to leave this one right now. So if you don't like the variant generated for you, you can just go back there and do what? You're going to do what? Generate another one. But I'm going to change the prompt right now before I generate another one to what? Generate the exact replica. The exact replica of background with the reference attached below. So click on generate again and wait for it to load up and see what it's going to give to us right now. And boom. Do you see what it actually gives to us again? I love this one in particular. Very, very nice. Very, very good. So as you can see right now, this is very, very simple to do and it's totally free of charge. I'll be dropping a part two video on how to actually generate backdrop using another software and also how to turn image to prompts. So see you guys on my next video tutorial. Reflex out.